Hey guys, I wanted to go through some things from Daisy Miller that the kids in class and I have discussed. So first, before I discuss the end of Daisy Miller, you need to find in the book, the, this part right here, where it says the young girl and her sister Rene were on, her, on their way to the gate of the enclosure so that when are born, so find this passage, and this is towards the end of part two and read from here until the end of the story all right so do that pause the video and do that right now i will post this document in Schoology if you want, or you could just make one yourself. These are the ideas that I want you to keep in mind as I discuss here. Actually, I'm not going to post it. I'm just going to type it as I talk about this right now. So my question for you, assuming you've read that passage, that part to the end of the story, is what does society say about Daisy and her actions and her motivations? What does Winterborn say? What does Daisy say? And what do you, the reader, say? Okay, we, this, is, this point of view is first person, uh, or third person limited, meaning we only get the limited perspective through Winterborn. We don't get to hear what Daisy's really thinking. Okay, so we're kind of left filtering through what society in the form of Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Miller and Mrs. Walker and Mrs. Costello say, what Winterborn thinks and what Daisy um, kind of flirtatiously implies. Okay, so first of all, we have Winterborn, all right? And so Winterborn at the beginning says that um, Daisy is innocent, not bad, just ignorant all right she's innocent she he says she is a pretty american flirt okay he defends her to his aunt mrs costello and mrs walker he consistently is thinking she's not a bad girl she's not a person of bad character she's just innocent and she doesn't understand how bad she makes herself look sometimes, okay? But in the passage you just read, it was a turning point for Winterborn. He goes to the Colosseum, okay? Now, one of the themes in Henry James's works, in all of his works, but especially this one, is con he, Henry James was an American who lived in Europe, okay? And so one of the things that was always on his mind was contrasting the old world of Europe the ancient European world contrasted with the new American culture. And that comes to a head here in this scene in the Colosseum. This is Colosseum is probably 1,800 years old at this point in the ancient city of Rome that's been around for 3,000 years in, at this time. Okay. And um, it's nighttime in this ancient building in this ancient city. And Daisy is this American girl sitting with Giovanelli in the middle of the Colosseum at night. So you have these contrasting images right there. Okay, and this is a turning point for Winterborn because Winterborn, when he sees Colosseum with Giovanelli, changes his opinion. He sees her, um, he turns, Turns his back on her and believes she is bad after all. So he sees her with Mr. Giovanelli and realizes she is what everybody says she is. I cannot believe I've wasted all this time defending her when she is this floozy that all of the people say she is. <coughs> okay. Winterborn feels bad about this. At the end, he's angry at Giovanelli, it seems, right? He blames Giovanelli. He said, why did you take her there? 
she got malaria and died there. Okay. And Giovanelli said, I can change her mind. I can't make her do what she's not going to do. Um, but I get the impression that Winterborn is actually mad at himself. Okay. He's mad at himself because he let society affect his opinion of Daisy. And he, just like society was unfair to her, he was unfair to her too. And I think that was his regret. But if you notice, he's not that regretful. He's regretful at her funeral, but then he just goes back to Geneva and continues on with his life as if Daisy never existed. Okay, so one another kind of idea that Henry James explores in this work is um, that Winterborn's life is completely empty and he lives this completely meaningless existence and, and that Daisy is this kind of um, distraction for him that distracts him from truly living a life of meaning. Okay, society here. What does society say about Daisy's action? We first meet society in the form of Mrs. Costello, Winterborn's aunt. Um, when Mrs. Costello says, says that Daisy is vulgar and the type of person one does one's duty by not accepting. Okay, Mrs. Costello doesn't care whether she's bad, but she says, I want nothing to do with her. Um, Mrs. Walker says Daisy is ruining herself Something you should also write down is that Mrs. Walker in the carriage incident tries to go get Daisy when she's walking down the street with Giovanelli and um, Winterborn arm in both of her arms and says, you're going to ruin your reputation. How can you do this? Okay. So pretty much after Mrs. Walker's party, um, remember when Daisy was leaving Mrs. Walker's party, Mrs. Walker, she turns to say goodbye to Mrs. Walker and Mrs. Walker turns her back and ignores her and then tells everybody that she is never going to invite Daisy ever again. So pretty much by the time that Mrs. Walker rejects her openly at the party, Daisy has burned every bridge. Okay. Society has openly rejected her and thinks she's a bad girl and thinks that she has a bad reputation and thinks that she has ruined her reputation by going around with different men. Okay. Uh, it, it's the, it looks improper. Now the question is, is it improper? Okay, does it matter how it looks? I'm actually going to copy paste this over into the what do you say? That's the question you have to answer. Daisy maintains that it isn't proper. Daisy maintains that she doesn't care what people say. She's not doing anything wrong. Okay, she says that she's not actually engaging in anything wrong. She doesn't care that people think she is. Okay. Um, sometimes it seems that Daisy is attention grabbing. She wants to do things to just get attention. Hold on one second. Okay, so Daisy maintains that she's not doing anything wrong, that she doesn't care what other people say. Daisy says that um, she says that she doesn't let anyone tell her what to do. We see that repeatedly with her interactions with her mother and with her interactions with Winterborn and Giovanelli. Okay, so she says she's not doing anything wrong. She refuses to let other people tell her what she can and can't do. Okay, and so Daisy says she's innocent. What do you say? Daisy seems like she is an attention grabbing girl. Remember her mother has kind of abandoned her in a way, doesn't really take the time to speak to, 
tell her how her behavior is and doesn't argue with her and doesn't really um, doesn't really rock the boat. Her dad is in America and has not even gone with them. Her little brother is a child. Okay, and so she really just wants people to fuss over her. We look back at the incident with the boat where they she wanted Winterborn to go in the boat with her and then when Winterborn got upset she said, Oh, that's all I wanted. And then again, when Winterborn turned his back on her in the Coliseum, she said, He cuts me because he hurt her when he she could tell that he was done with her and she didn't understand. All right, so think about all of these things. Remember, you're gonna to need to know the meaning of the text and I gave you, I think, two different meanings just now. Um, so think about all of these things, read through the end of the story and let me know if you have any questions.